I worked sound. I I was on a soundboard with three with two other people. I would just open closed curtains, help with scene changes, maybe help the um, the cast with props and stuff like that. And if tomorrow I didn't have those I was in the cast. I was one of the orphans. I played orphan Kate. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. I was a part of the cast and I was um, Lieutenant Ward. Hello, Miss Hennigan, is it? Yeah! I'm Lieutenant Ward, 17th precinct. You guys are away. I was with Hannigan and this year's production, Annie. My biggest thing was to make sure that Ms. Hannigan was played to the best of her ability and to give a different side of what people normally portray Ms. Hannigan to be. I had to completely just throw out everything that I usually am because I'm like the complete opposite of her. So what I had to do was I had to find, okay, Miss Hannigan is mad for a reason. One, it's the Great Depression. She's upset about that. Two, she doesn't like kids. So when I took that anger and kind of like took from my own experiences, like, yeah, I love kids, but at the same time, I hate when kids do this. I kind of used that on stage um, to give her like that meanness, um, her comedy making it like, okay, this is me, but we all know it's kind of funny. You, your days are numbered. All right, breakfast. On lunch? No. You get cold much. And after you eat your mush, you'll go to some sewing machines because there's an order of dresses you'll have to finish, even if you have to work till midnight. I will say that they're really good in, when you're talking about in terms of like orphan dresses, but the minute that they walked in and I saw the orphan clothes, I was like, oh, I have to wear that. <laughs> but it was really accurate and spot on to what you probably wear during the Great Depression as an orphan or like being poor at the time. So that was pretty spot on. kind of weird because some of the language and some of the lingo that we had to learn in order to sing the songs or like when we're talking about the Boiling Sisters for example we had to mimic everything we do because at the time we're orphans we're just kind of like <laughs> just copying whatever anyone else does so I thought that was kind of a fun twist that Miss Dyer added to the show and it added a lot more than I really thought it would at the beginning. One of the biggest problems that we faced was the auditorium wasn't available for a while because, you know, the school was still being built. So actually a whole bunch of students actually had to figure out how to work the lights and all of, you know, the lighting, the sound, like all of that. Because we, we had a totally new system installed. This was totally new to everyone. We had, um, we had, we had this new soundboard installed. We had totally new mics and everything. So it was a, yeah, it was, it was really uh, a new experience. So when we were rehearsing, um, like there there were jokes that we would make that w there was you would assume there'd be a laugh there. So we would just pause for a second and then we keep going. But over time, that just disappeared until the the show. So we just the, I think the first performance um, we were a little bit bad on that because we weren't used to it. And then we heard people laugh and they kind of interrupted us. So we learned for next time. Oh, I'm looking for my parents. They're lost. <laughs> lost? How long have they been lost? Now that's lost. <laughs> yes, Miss Hannigan. Why, any kid want to be home I'll never know. Definitely the one where she was like, why any kid would want to be an orphan. That's a really funny line. I just want to see how people would like react to that. And um, me flirting with Warbucks. Warbucks. All of us. I've always been so good and nice to you. The jig is up.
my favorite parts were always, always, always Easy Street. Mother dear, oh, we know you're down there listening. How can we follow your sweet advice? Easy Street, Easy Street, where you sleep till noon. Favorite part, favorite song, Hooverville would have to be my favorite song because it's like. Most of the songs in the show are kind of like really upbeat because it's about Annie being adopted or Annie getting adjusted to her new life. But like Hooverville is kind of like a different dynamic. Because there's a lot of historical facts that were put into like the making of this show that I didn't understand until like, I don't know, like four weeks before we started um, getting really into it. So I thought that was interesting to learn when I was doing the play. It's nothing but criticism! I know, I know! It's awful! Did anybody see the Washington Post this morning? My friends, I see again. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Okay, Franklin, you've already been a some of the, the jokes in the show, we improvised ourselves. It's like the man says, after New York, New York, everywhere else is Caroline County. <laughs> the Tucker Spin is a diversity. Um, we had a, such a diverse cast. Where is that Annie? Annie ain't here! Hello? Welcome home, Mr. Warba. Welcome home, Mr. Warba. No, we need to pick up any It was so cool to work with people from different backgrounds, and not just in the cast, but also in the crew. I remember just talking to different people who were from the crew who were like, yeah, I just came from El Salvador like two years ago. Yeah, I used to go to school in Ghana. So having that cultural um, difference that not too many casts previously had, that Annie had, I think that's what put that real Tucker oomph in it. Hey, this is the order of the jig is up. Yes. The jig is up, Daniel Francis Hannigan, also known as Brewster Hannigan. Also it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of effort, like lots of set building, lots of cleaning, lots of, lots of everything to make a show. It was a really good experience for anyone who was watching, as my friends would have said. As much as a minor role someone like me had on set, like everybody felt, you know, like included and it was just, it was a good experience to have. If you asked me like at the beginning of this play if I knew any of these people, I would have not like none of them. <laughs> and now I consider them to be pretty close friends of mine. So it's just you get closer to the people around you and you really understand how much time and effort it takes to make a production like this. Baby, 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 baby.